Okay, I came to Lagos on Monday because I was also looking for a job and this is the best place I can I actually get something doing easily because I've been looking for what to do in New York. I didn't see anything. I had to come to Lagos. Then on Monday that I got to Lagos, I was able to find something to do. I got a job, which I told her that I've gotten a job somewhere and I'm supposed to resume on Monday. That's tomorrow. So on Thursday, she called me. I was in the house cooking. She called me that guy. I want to, there's this interview that they just called her for at Oron Road that she doesn't want to go because the place is far and she does not have money on her. I told her, is it because the place is far or because she don't have money? She said it's because she does not have money. I sent her 2,000 naira that she should go, but before leaving, she should tell someone around her that this is where she's going to since I'm not in Oyo. So she said, in our chats that okay she was going to forward the number of the person that has called her to her sister so that she will not go and loss jokingly nana said okay she called me that she was heading to the place after i've sent her the 2000 so on her way going there she called me again i was still in the kitchen cooking so my phone was close by so i picked immediately she said guy this place is foul and i told her guy if that place is that far if you go back that's how i sent it so she now said she's already here that she will find out by herself before if the money they are going to pay her is not favorable she will not be coming to this kind of a far place the next minute i saw a one second video audio on my phone so i quickly checked it was from her so i played it i didn't hear anything so i was thinking maybe she wants to tell me something or maybe she does not have enough data so i called her immediately i didn't allow it to be up to five minutes or ten minutes it was the moment i got the message i called her and I heard her screaming when she picked. I'm sure they were trying to struggle then. So they picked mistakenly. And I heard her screaming. So I tried calling back again. I've been calling her since then. She's not picking her call. And I tried calling her two times. She didn't pick. That was when I raised an alarm. I had to call a friend of mine in Rio that knows someone that knows her sister since I did not have any of her sister's number. And the person called the guy that he knows then forward the sister's number to me. So I now called her. If Ine has told her where she's going to and the place she's going to look for a job, she said yes, that the same thing she said to me was what she said to her. That she, she only sent her the address, that's uh, Ibiaku on Oron Road by Airport Road, that she sent only the person's number. And I told her, explain everything that just happened, that I tried calling, she told me that she was going to this place and she does not have money and all that. I had to send her 2000 She has gotten to the place and she told me this place is far. But I agreed that, okay, go back if the place is far. She said she's already there. She would want to know how the place is first before going back. And... Ever since then, I've not heard anything. The next thing was for me to see a one second audio on my phone. Then I called her back. I heard her screaming. So that was how I was able to get to the family. And she narrated that it was the same address she told me she was going to, that she went. So that's just it. So did the sister tell you after after you called her and told her about the one, one, one minute or less than a minute audio, did they go to that particular address? No, they didn't. She quickly went to the police station to report the case. They said it's not up to 24 hours yet. So she went there. It was towards 4.16. She sent me that one minute, uh, one second voice note. Then by the time I reported, it was not up to 4.30. So when she went to the police station that Thursday evening, they said it's not up to 24 hours that she, she should wait till the next day. So she went back early in the morning by 8.30 and they were saying they can't go there with um, their van. She has to um, hire a different van and to buy fuel. I, people sent money. I called some few persons. They sent money to her and she was able to hire a van to withdraw the money then go back to the station. So since then, they said they they're investigating on it and we've not had anything the next minute people because i sent the number to people i posted it online about the number that um called out for the interview so they checked on um true color and it was showing ezekiel Akwan. so people find out that ezekiel Akwan is linked to someone else then immediately people were now going through her page on twitter and they saw the post she made about job that she's seeking for a job and few persons now checked the comments under that post that she made 
people, uh, one guy in particular, um, M.M. Obon, M.M. Obon there about deleted his chat immediately from the, the his comments from the post so that people will not see that he commented and was trying to, and she was trying to make inquiries of where his place of work is. So I, then the next minute he changed, after deleting the post, the comment that he made under her post, he changed his name to something else. Then the next minute he deactivated the account. And I made that known to the public that this guy has changed his name. He has deleted his comment under my friend's post and he has deactivated his account. Then they now linked, they used that name to look for him on Facebook. He did the same thing. They activated his account on Facebook as well. When it was now going viral, people were now tagging at Uduak Frank, the same guy as Ezekiel Akwan. He's also Uduak Frank Akwan. So when they not tagged him on stuff like that, he came out to send, he posted, a, he made a post on Facebook that at the time my friend called him, that was when his phone went off and he has been trying to reach my friend and to no avail that somebody should reach out to this family of the person. Meanwhile, we have raised alarm the day she went to look for an interview and he didn't say anything about my friend calling him and her phone number going off, but it was the next day that it was in the evening on Friday night that he made mention of something like that. So after the investigation, he actually took himself to the station. So they arrested um, victims. Before then, victims um, messaged me, a girl named Marian. She messaged me that she has been in that same position before, that the girl the guy used a different account on Facebook, a girl's page, to chat him up and saying that she has a job offer to give to her. So when she got there, it was a different thing. What they did to her was to drug her, give her with smoke, then raped her, took pictures of her and said if she goes back and tell people, they are going to post it online then and all that. But she said they used that to be collecting money from her. She gave me the address of the place which i sent to the sister and she forwarded it to the police people and it was there that they caught the father at first before he took himself to the station okay so was it the same address yes okay. to the same address that the girl sent to me that they were able to locate the father okay. and he admitted that Udwak frank Akwan is his son okay okay so uh my question again is was it that same address that your friend went to Yes, along a road, people made investigation and they saw that he always looked for a place at um, a land at a road to buy. And most people too that he actually called for job interview as well said he always mentioned of Ibiaku Road by a road. Okay. So obviously it's the same guy that this yes is yes about. yes. Okay, do you have his picture? Yes. Okay. Um. When I called you, what what was the what what I, I think you I said something on Facebook, I don't know. Was it Facebook or Twitter? I don't know if it's from you that he's been arrested. Yes. Okay, so he's been he's still with the police. Yes. So with the other guy. He took, himself, guy. He took the himself. Police didn't arrest him. No, he took himself. Okay, the sister what said happened? the sister told me that, that he took himself mm. to the station, maybe because he has seen that there's no way for him to run to. So he had to go there. But they've not said anything that he has been telling the police. But the only thing the sister said is that he has been giving out vital information and they are using that to work on um on the matter. That's what she said. Okay. You are, you, are, you are extremely emotional. You were it's extremely emotional when I called you. Is there any other information that this morning? Because yesterday, as, as yesterday, she told me that the police said confidently to her that she should go home. That by eight o'clock this morning, they are going to give her something positive. Mm. So she went home with the hope that okay, today they are going to find her sister. But before then, they told her that the guy has confessed to them that he has raped her countless times and that he left her with his cousin. That's what the sister told me. That that's what the guy said, that he left her with the cousin. So before this morning, the police, since they have already, since he has already confessed to the police that 
he has raped her countless times and she left he left her with the cousin we were now hopeful that he would take them to where the my friend is but this morning the sister told me that they've killed my friend and they have buried her she got the information from the police I guess. yes i called again to confirm she said i should take everything she's saying truth that they've killed my friend and they buried her just like that she only went to look for a job <laughs> this is not a case that she just went missing everybody knew where she went to she sent the address to her sister and she sent the number of the person that called her for the interview to her sister and we were able to get the guy's name and his face and the father admitted that that is his son people came out to say the same thing that he has been doing the same thing to other people victims were now making their own statements so why did they now delay everything as of two days ago and now this morning they are saying that they killed and they buried her why would they do that and he didn't say when they killed her he didn't i've not gotten that information yet This month that just ended made that 26 years. So was she actually looking for her first job? Or was she... she has been working elsewhere okay. before she got admission. And even when she was still schooling, she was working somewhere to trying to see if she could gather money because she doesn't have parents. She's an orphan. So she tried most times to, even when we were in class, most times she doesn't make it to class because she's somewhere teaching. Then after this, and we were supposed to leave for camp last year because we graduated 2019. But because of the COVID and everything, we couldn't leave. So we've been looking forward to leaving for camp. And it's getting late. We don't know what they're saying, if they've actually sent our result to the Senate and all that. So she's stuck to in a place that she does not know if she's going front or backward so she says she can't keep waiting for to whenever they are going to approve our results let her go look for something to be earning little money for the meantime till whenever she leaves for come that's the idea why i came here too as well to look for something to do and then now which school is she at? university of rio okay. how would you describe her what kind of person was she? in your morning does not keep late nights she doesn't go out if i'm not involved if she goes out anywhere she let me know like guy i'm going to see this person now i'll be back by this time she does not go out with anybody she, she doesn't have a relationship presently she's not in a relationship she's single so she does not really go out the last time we went out together and she kept late now was because I was with her and it was on her birthday that we stayed till 10, 11 o'clock. That's all. She's always in the house. Our compound people can testify to that. Even the neighbor, the, the um, landlord always said that why is she always inside? That she should come at most times. But she, since she does not have any way to go to, she's always inside. She doesn't, she doesn't have much friends.
If women love each other, let's stand for each other. Thank you for this audience.